can play like that. So we just got to look back in the mirror again and look at ourselves and know the things that we have to get better on. And we're going to continue to continue to get ourselves in these ones. And then, um, Kara, Angel, or Ivy, where do you guys see this team being able to come up with more offensive um, production, uh, better spark on the offensive then? I've, I've never learned in the offense. Like I think all of our guards and posts can be as aggressive as any other person in this league. I think uh, A was saying defensively, I think that's just something that we just have to focus on. Um, we practice every day on executing plays and you know our plays, so that just comes to focus and knocking down shots, and we were getting shots as well in the game. We just have to be more aggressive. So then when you're dealing with a team that's hitting seven threes, it's you're saying it's more of a defensive issue than than trying to match that. I I always think I always start with defense. So I agree, yeah. I think it comes down to the scout and being focused on your personnel and um not bailing out unless you know the other team is scoring, you don't go away from your principles and stand outside and stay aggressive. All right, we'll go to Zoom. Mike, can you unmute players only first, please? Players only. Hey guys, uh, this question is for Angel. Uh, you've now had over the last few days, you know, time to see BG in real time. And I'm curious for you what your difference was in preparation from game one to game two. You had uh, 11 and 15, I believe, in game one, and now 19 and 20. Team effort it doesn't take one person to stop her. Um, I'm not even going to say I stopped her. Camilla did a great job being able to be out there and then match up with her because Camilla does match up with her well. Um, you got to give us some grace. We are both rookies, and um, BG's been in this league for a while. She's a very smart player. I think tonight we did a great job trying to push her off the block as best as we can. And then I think just being able to wall up and box her out and get the rebound, but you got to give kudos to her. She She's a great post player. Well, and on Zoom with Jordan. Jordan, unmute. Hey, ladies. My question is for Izzy. You score like the first six or eight points for your team in the second quarter. Just talk about how comfortable you've been with getting your shot up and stuff. Um, Angel, when you talked about um, BG's intelligence out there, what are you learning about her ability just even to draw fouls? Like, is he you too? Because it's it's such a skill of hers that she's able to like slowly kind of attack the rim and, and, and draw you guys on her in a way that, yeah, sends her to the line. I mean, obviously, just down experience. She's been asleep for a while and she knows what calls she can get. Um, I think she takes her time around the basket. That's something that I, I like to watch from her. Even when she doesn't even know she's going to get the foul, she still takes her time around the basket and finish. And that's why she gets a lot of the M ones. So um, just being able to take that from as a rookie, I'm just I'm just watching her from that from that viewpoint and just being able to take her time around the rim. And even if she doesn't get the call, she finishes. Thank you, players. Thank you. Questions for Spoon? We'll go in person, please. Um, just a similar question for you, but just as far as the offense goes, where do you see this team finding more of an offensive spark production? We have offensive, we have shots up to it. We just have to knock the shots down. You know, we may, they work a lot on their individual skills, shooting shots, shots, shots all the time. But when we have open shots, we have to be shot makers. And that's important for us, shot makers. We have, uh, we have, have more possessions. Normally, you see this in the possessions more than your opponent. Normally, you'll say you, you got a victory. Mm -hmm. It's about what are we doing? We get those offensive rebounds. What are we doing? We get those extra possessions. Um, what are we doing? Are we trying to find the open person? Are we finding the open person? It's a little disappointing. This is a team that's really um, taken pride in its defense and, and being able to get out and run in transition. Do you feel like that's a sustain, uh, uh, going to be able to be sustained, um, produce wins throughout the remainder of the season, relying on, on that defense and that transition offense? Well, for us, defense is what where it starts. Uh, we want to get defensive stops. But in, in, I don't care what team you play for, you got to open shots, you want to make them. Yeah. Uh, we, have to have, we have to have scoring. 
have to score the ball. It's just plain and simple. We do an ex excellent job of getting second chance opportunities. And that's about us converting, you know, putting that thing in the bucket. Um, the defensive, defensively is where it starts for us. Uh, if we, we want to be aggressive and get those stops and then get on offensive runs. Uh, we're really, really good in transition. That's where we're at our best, but we have to be better at that as well. We got to push the ball. It's where we're at our best, so we need to better and be better at that. And then on Zoom. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.